I still do yeah. the design work, and um, I still make things out of metal and wood. I like doing it, and I also need to do it, because that's the way I make my living. And I'm still working with my fine art that I sell some of with uh, the upholstery springs, though I am cutting them up differently and putting them back together differently. And the Ben Poplar plywood too. And I've always liked metal, it just, I've just always liked welding. So I came up with the uh, conclusion that we all remember certain visual history. And I would also imagine that culturally it, it could be different. My name is Susan Woods. I also go by the name of a swoon. I concentrate a lot on fine art. Um, I do go between the design world and the fine art world and every, every place in between. One informs the other and one affords the other. As an artist, if one is going to continue to be an artist, one must really follow their way, or I feel I have to follow my way, and that means change. And if I don't change, then I'm going to be bored with myself and my work is going to be boring. I've gone through a lot of phases in what I've done as an artist. I really uh, find that if, if I don't do that, then I, I, won't, I won't consider myself an artist. And luckily, most of the stuff that I've made, I've been able to somehow sell and make a living at. So I've been lucky. I started off as a, in fine arts and studying sculpture. I went to school till I was 35 years old. I did take years off in between to kind of breathe and figure out what I was doing. But um, I did study uh, academic sculpture and liked it, but I didn't know what to do with it. And now I see, I sometimes look up people that I went to school with or were teachers and a couple of them I so admire. Their work is so beautiful and it's figurative work, but it, it was something that I just couldn't do. I do a, a lot of little drawings of objects or things to keep my hand in the real world, even if they're expressive drawings or something, because I work so abstractly all the time. The rules are the same, however the intent or how far one brings something is different. It's, it's like asking somebody, would you like to talk about yourself for a while? You know, it's really, it's great. And, and I have become used to the fact that I can sell my work and that people like it. Not all of it, you know, do I sell, but I love that. I like making p things for people, even site-specific things. For, like, for instance, tomorrow I go to somebody's home. It's a construction site, but I'll go there tomorrow and make some measurements and I'll make something for that particular area. And I think it's great, I love that. It used to make me nervous because, you know, you're working very um, closely and personally with someone, but now I really like it and I love getting into somebody's head a little bit and making something for them. It's, it's very cool. And when somebody comes in here and takes things as is, I love it because it's, uh, it's a confirmation in a way, but it's also like a storage problem, so it's wonderful it gets to be someplace else. I, I, I love that too. <laughs> Well, that's a question. I really don't know. I'm questioning that myself because I have to have more space. I have a storage space. I have this kind of space keeping my work. I have dealers keeping my work. I have galleries keeping my work. And I think the space here is becoming more and more and more. It is becoming more and more and more expensive. And I'm questioning that for myself. 
as well as for younger people. And who will come here, young people, who will be able to afford to come here with fresh ideas, who will risk being creative, as, as creative as they can get, when they have really high rents to pay, not only for studios, but for their places to live. And I'm not sure that that's an affordable thing for people now. I'm here, I've been here for a long time, I still have a reasonable rent in my um, studio and I have a rent stabilized apartment. But if I change that, if I have the need to change it, even I, what, what, what will I do? I don't know that, that answer. I think any time that things sell a lot, you have the risk of doing the same thing over and over again or something similar so that you're not, you're not being creative again. And I think, um, I suppose as people get older, you do settle in and you might not change as readily. But, um, you know, I'm hoping that I just keep, you know, changing because I find it important. Um, but at the same time, these larger commissions are great. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm saying something through like a certain kind of inspiration that to me is, uh, it's almost like the muse or something, you know, you're speaking with the gods or something, you know. I don't mean to be immodest, but I think that artists do speak to some, something other than themselves, whatever the inspiration is. And so that's what it does for me.